Petco. Brand new ones, they retros. Live fast, die on set my headstone. Yeah. I've been grown. EA Sports coverage of the NFL brings us to the state of Florida and TIAA Bank Field in Jacksonville. Coming up, we've got what should prove to be a good one, as it'll be the Philadelphia Eagles taking on the Jacksonville Jaguars. Now the kicker, Brandon McManus, about ready to get us started. And off we go from Jacksonville. And here comes a return from the middle of the end zone. And in hindsight, probably should have taken a knee as he only gets this out to the 16-yard line. Hurts throwing right away. Second and ten after the incompletion on first down. Throwing his hurts. And he'll be hit as he releases it. And that'll fall incomplete. This defense has passed its first two tests by forcing back-to-back incompletions. They know there's probably another throw coming out third down. Let's see if they decide to force the issue by sending people on blitz. Here's Hurts to throw. A hit as he throws there, incomplete. That's the first third down try of the game, and clearly something was off in the execution of that play. Good news, they've got a whole game left to clean that up and start clicking on those key third down throws. Try and throw for it with Hurts. Looking for Watkins, and it's intercepted. He's to the 10, and he will take this one home. It's a touchdown. On here, Brandon McManus for the point after. And this is up and good. The score now 7 0 Jaguars. So they throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. They'll elect to bring it out here from the end zone. And he'll get it up past the 20 to about the 22. Already at the line, this Philly offense set to go. And remember, they were just out here a moment ago through the pick six, so we'll see if they can take better care of the football this go around. Yeah, and sometimes, partner, I think it's almost better that you just throw the pick six and you come right back out on the field. You're not over on the sidelines to roll and for very long. You're not hearing everyone say, oh, hey, you'll get them next time. Hey, don't worry about it. All that stuff just goes right out the window. You're right back out on the field with a chance to atone. And they're able to get this one across the 35. It's a gain of 16 and an eagle first down. And Hurts going to move him around. On first and 10, it's Swift. And he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. He's tackled at the 40-yard line. A three-yard pickup brings up second and seven. Hurts sets up to throw it. Unfortunately, he's able to recover his own fumble. That could have been trouble. So possession still theirs, but now they face a third down. From the gun, it's Hurts. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And out of bounds on the other side of midfield at the 45. So in Jacksonville territory now, here's a first and 10 at the 45-yard line. Swift going to try up the middle. He'll get this one down near the 20-yard line. 
just shy of the 20. Oh, looks like they'll move things around here. First down, and they go with Swift again. And he's going to get this one down inside the 15. A solid run on first down. Gain of seven leaves him with a second and three. Brings up second and three. Once again, it's Swift. And he is met at the line of scrimmage, and he goes down right there. Here comes play number nine now as they come up on a third and three. They'll try and run here with Swift. And he takes it inside the 10 to the 8 before he's out of bounds. It's a gain of six as they're able to convert, and now it's first and goal. Here's Swift. one in for the Eagle touchdown. DeAndre Swift, an eight-yard touchdown run. And the Eagles are an extra point away from evening this one up. On for the extra point, Jake Elliott. It's up and good. So these teams match touchdowns here in the first quarter, and we're tied 7-7. So I'll leave it at seven now as they kick it away. Now Jamal Agnew from his end zone. And not a good return here at all as they'll be forced to start at the 12-yard line. At their own 12-yard line. Lawrence bringing the Jaguars up first and 10 at their own 12-yard line. Now ETN to start the drive. And the big boys up front, they're going to stop him right at the line. Officially nothing on that last run. They'll try again second and 10. Now Lawrence flush to his right. And he wisely will throw that one away. I thought at first he tried to run, but he just kept buying time to his right. Finally, nothing there. He wisely gets rid of it. They come up to the line now, facing a third and 10 after the incompletion. Now Lawrence. Screenplay, here's ETN. And he'll take this across the 25 before going out of bounds. A 15-yard first down pickup for the Jaguars. Well, I see a defensive coordinator get upset and throw his headset. This is the kind of play that'll do it. You force third and long. This is almost sort of a give-up play. You're just hoping to get something positive, and it winds up. Second quarter now from Jacksonville, and it's the Jags with the football. As they've got it with a first and 10. ETN up the middle, and he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. So their task a little bit more difficult now. Second and 13 that they're walking up on. Eluding the pressure right. Wow, and that is incomplete. It'd be interesting to see what he decides to do the next time he's in the position we just saw there. Outside of the pocket, takes a throw downfield, it turns up incomplete. I wonder if next time he might take off and run. The pressure gets to Lawrence, and he'll go down. Hassan Reddick in there to drop him for a loss on the play. Oh, a big decision here early. Look at this. They're going to go for it on their own side of the field. And they'll try and throw for it with Lawrence. And it's knocked away and incomplete. Boy, a real head scratcher there. And the Eagles are going to take over in great field position. So they take a big, big chance here in their own territory. And you think the coach may have some questions to answer? Yeah, and you know, normally we focus on the media, right? The social media barrage that he's going to get for this one. How about on his own sideline and in his locker room? Because I think the team's going to look at him like, Coach, why would we go for it there? I mean, no confidence in the defense. You don't like the punter. I mean, what's going on here? You owe us some explanations. Second and six. Hurts. 
He's got Smith here. And Devontae going to pick up the Eagles first down as he's down to the 12. It's a seven-yard gain there, and it's good enough to move the chains. Well, if you do read man coverage, Brandon, the drag route's a pretty good one to run against it because you're running away from people on it. From down at the 12, it's first and 10. Now Hurts looking to change the play. Back to throw now on first down. He'll get this off to Swift. And he's going to be brought down just shy of the five at the six. That'll go for a gain of seven, and it'll be second down. At the six-yard line. They will run straight ahead with Swift. And he'll take it into the end zone for an Eagles touchdown. DeAndre Swift with his second touchdown here in this first half. And the Eagles have taken the lead. So his strong first half continues as he finds the end zone here for the second time. And definitely good blocking at the point of attack. And you just have to love watching the way he can create space down near the goal line. And he's able to take it into the end zone. Elliott good on the extra point. And that makes the score 14 to 7. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. From his end zone, here comes Agnew. And he'll be out of bounds here just past the 20-yard line. The Jaguars take over first and 10 at their own 22-yard line. Hey, hey, Jaguars hey. come to the line to start their next drive. Charles, we know that this offense is aggressive. We saw that last drive. They went for it on fourth down, didn't get it. And now the rookie's free. He's on his way. Touchdown, Jaguars. Take Bigsby, 78 yards. And the Jaguars are able to strike quickly here as they are in for six. They blitzed defensively there, but he was able to slip through that first layer, and then he was gone. I think they won the leverage game, didn't they? Yes. Right? They saw the blitz coming. That got to him a little bit, but they leveraged it perfectly and found not just a crease, a gigantic hole. And off he goes, and he's still going all the way to the end zone. This one tied at 14 now as he sends this one away. This is going to be returned from the middle of the end zone. And he's going to get this across the 20 as he's out of bounds at the 23. The Eagles offense set to begin their next drive. This drive here beginning probably with a pair of motivated groups. Remember, the offense scored a touchdown on their last time out. Look and repeat that in Charles' defense. They were very frustrated after giving up six the last time on the field. And finally, it's just a battle of wills in a lot of ways because you know they're both motivated. They both game plan for this drive, and they both have specific outcomes in mind. To me, it just comes down to who can execute better and which side can step up and assert its will over the other. They run out of the gun with Swift. And he maneuvers his way down to the three-yard line. Five yards, a good run there, and now second and goal. Hat tip to that offensive line. They're clearing some holes, even down here deep in the red zone. And that's a nice pickup on the ground on first and goal. So the ball position now at the three. Here's second and goal. Got a man, and he hits him in stride. Touchdown, Eagles! Quez Watkins from three yards out. And the Eagles have taken the lead. Elliott good with a PAT. And the lead is now 
Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. From his end zone, here comes Agnew. And he had no room to run as he's tackled down inside the 20. The Jaguars take over first and 10 at their own 18-yard line. The Jacksonville offense set to begin their next drive. And Charles, we'll see what they can do here. Not a ton of time left, but enough certainly to get points out of this drive. And they need them right now because they're trailing. Yeah, this is exactly why you practice a two-minute drill all through camp and at least one practice each week before a game. A minute left, more than enough time to string a few completions together, Rishi Enzo, and then make that walk back to the locker room just a little more animated. The Eagles going to take the first of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 37 seconds to play in this first half. Here's second and seven. Lawrence flushed out right. And he'll be out of bounds after getting this one across the 40. Great vision there by Lawrence as he scrambles for a first down. Now they'll switch it up here and look to throw. Steps away to his left. And he gets this to the other side of midfield across the 45 before going out. Opted to run for it. The decision of Goodwin picking up the first, getting 14 yards on the scramble. On first and 10, it's ETN. They pick up 12 on the play there, and they move the chains. The Jaguar is going to go ahead and use their first timeout as the clock will stop with 18 seconds to go in the first half. On first down, right back to ETN. Credit the tackle to Darius Slay. Now the Jags will use the second of their timeouts. So that means they're down to one remaining here as we head toward halftime. On second down, a run with ETN. And he'll get it down this time to the 17. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. And we're going to get a timeout with two seconds remaining in the second quarter. So with two ticks left here in the half, on is the field goal unit. From the right hash, just a 34-yard attempt. The kick by McManus is good, and that will do it for this first half. So two quarters down, two remain. Charles and I return after the break. Welcome back, halftime over. We are ready for quarter number three. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gaughan. Both these offenses have been in fine form. What will the second half bring us as we are underway in quarter three? From his end zone, here comes Agnew. And he's going to be out of bounds on the return. Not a great return. They'll start back around the 17. Jaguars come to the line to start their next drive. Well, Charles, in that first half, we saw a fair amount of offense on both sides of the football, and now the team trailing here will start with it in the third quarter. And we both know this coach pretty darn well, don't we? Because his game planning is always on point. And now that he's getting the ball to start the second half, how about all the offense that you already referenced in the first half? He'll put that all together and come out with something really strong, I believe, to get things going here in the third quarter. They decided the opportunity was there and launched a deep ball, but he was unable to get away from the defender. Couldn't create space, couldn't uncover the end of the route, and that one winds up incomplete. On third down, Lawrence. And this time he's got the hookup. It's complete. And how about the call here? They need two yards in their own territory on fourth down, and they're going to go for it. And they'll indeed go for it. Here's Lawrence. That's to the sideline and pulled in. And he'll go out near midfield at the 49. So they elect to decline it. And why not? Just go ahead and let the play stand, and they'll take that. Hey, 
straight ahead, ETN. And across the midfield, stripe into Eagle territory. Looking to speed things up here, going with some tempo. The Lawrence will throw. Buying time to his left. And he'll go down inside the 45 before going out of bounds. They'll wind up with positive yardage. It's a gain of three, but now it's third down. Hey, hey, hey. Great job. Now Lawrence to throw. He'll get this out to the flat for ETM. And he will have a Jaguars first down as this defense unable to hold. It's a seven-yard gain there on third and two. As an unbiased observer, I think it would have been interesting to see what they would have done if they hadn't gotten the first down there. But since they did, I guess the point is moved. And yeah, they're right there in that middle ground, field goal range, punt, go for it. But as you said, they picked it up. And yeah, this will be a gain of five as he gets it to the 30. Brandon, five yards on that run. Let's get back to the huddle and make sure if you're back, you spend time with your offensive line and give them credit. Hard to move those 300 plus pounders at the line of scrimmage, and they did for a significant chunk of yardage. A shotgun snap and a give to ETN. And he'll get about three as he's brought down to the 28. And now it looks like they're going to be in the hurry up. Third and two, now Lawrence. And this one is incomplete. Well, this at least is the right idea. I think they've got to get the tight end more involved. He had just one target in the first half, incomplete. Now incomplete here with the first target in the second half. Yeah, should not stop them at all from going back to him, though. Find him. Find him. They'll pass up a field goal attempt. It would have been a 45-yarder. Now they'll go for it on fourth. Here's Lawrence to throw. And they hit him as he throws, as this one's going to go straight down to the turf. Incomplete. The Jags come up empty on fourth down. And this 11-play drive is going to lead to nothing on the scoreboard. They'll start on the ground with Swift. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. After the loss to start out, here's second and 11. Play action. Here's Hurts. And that's going to be too high. Out of bounds and incomplete. The coverage was good, but I just wonder if they absolutely fooled the quarterback on that play. I think he was expecting something else. Ended up with nowhere to throw the football successfully. Now Hurts changing up the play. On third down, here comes Swift. And they'll get him down at the 34, and he's going to be short of the first by a few yards. They failed once in this spot earlier, but the offense will stay out to go for it on fourth down. They're going to try and throw. All right, rifles one, and that's going to be intercepted. Picked by Chad Muma. And a terrific return as he takes this thing all the way down near the 20-yard line. Yeah, he's just trying to throw this ball into the hole in the zone, but those windows can open and close quickly, especially in the middle of the field. So if the timing's not right, we'll see interceptions like that one right there. And they'll come out with a three tight end look on the first play of the drive. Looking to throw, Lawrence being chased out left. Finds his tight end, Ingram. And he gets it inside the 10 to the 9. Sets him up nicely, first and goal. It was a pickup of 14. And how nice is it for him to know that when he gets outside the pocket, he's got a reliable tight end he can go to. So he's able to look his way, find his big target, and set up first and goal. 11, On oh, first and 10, it's Bigsby. And he will maneuver his way down to about the seven. Only a yard that time, second and goal. Not a whole lot there on first and goal, and that's what you're looking for defensively. You'll certainly live with giving up just a yard or two in this situation. And they're not going to get to the line to run another play, so we will switch ends as they... They'll try again here from the seven on second and goal. Lawrence now off the bootleg, rolling to his left. And he'll just chuck this one up into row G. It's incomplete. 
Boy, that was lockdown coverage there. He's scanning for someone to come open. But that was great work to blanket everyone. And in the end, he's just got to throw it away. On third and goal, Lawrence forced out to his left. And he'll be brought down this time at the five-yard line. The decision to tuck and run gets him three, but that's not enough. Now it's four. Here we go. Got to have it. Lawrence. Touchdown, Jaguars. Jamal Agnew. A five-yard touchdown. And the Jags have moved out in front here in the fourth quarter. A late turnover is so often the difference in a ball game, and here the turnover leads to the go-ahead touchdown. So repeat after me, partner. You have to take care of the football. In order to protect the lead, you must take care of the football. Ball security. How many times do they have to say it? They've been preaching it since day one of camp, and it came back to bite them right there. After the touchdown, here's McManus now to kick it away. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. Go, go, go. Already at the line, this Philly offense set to go. And the pressure is on now. They're being shut out here in the second half after a decent first half offensively. But they need their best drive of the game right here. 80 yards on the ground for him now as he has gotten better, really, as the night's going on. Oh, that's one to warm the hearts of all those old-school football players, isn't it? Tough, hard, gritty run. Got behind his pads, pulled over a few people. Look at that one, right up the gut. So up through three quarters, no reason to lighten up now. Antonio Johnson makes the stop. Consecutive positive runs for him on the last two snaps. He certainly appears to be trying to put the offense on his back and just move them down the field when his number is called. The way he's running it, I keep going back to him. Ball at the 40 here for second and five. They'll stay on the ground with Swift. And he'll pick up about three there, up to the 43. Typically, we think it's the strong safeties that are better tacklers, especially closer to the line of scrimmage amidst traffic. But in this case, how about the free safety coming up and making the big-time play? On the option to give to Swift here. A solid stiff arm. And they'll get this well past midfield before being stopped just before the 35. Well, they were in search of a short gain on third down, and they wind up nabbing over 20 yards. Another carry for their leader and a good one. It's crunch time. They'll need him to continue to be productive in both the run and passing game in order for them to try and snatch a victory. All three timeouts plus the two-minute warning. Here's first and ten. Throwing quickly, that's caught by Brown out wide. It's a game of matchups, and that's why you take your receivers and move them around a bunch, especially your best guys. And when they work out of the slot, you often hear the coaches talk about how great it is because it gives you a two-way go. You can break out or you can break in. That makes it hard to defend. Three points separating these two sides with two minutes left to go in the fourth. Here's second down. From the gun, here's Swift. And this won't be enough to pick up the first. A gain of two, third and one. If they're going to get a first down out of this, they're going to have to earn it because there's been tough going in the interior there. And here we are on third and one. Be prepared. Brace yourself. There'll be some contact going on. Pass taken in by his good tight end. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Jaguars' 12-yard line. They'll get that one out quickly to Brown. I tell you, it has not been his best day throwing the football. He really needs to piece something together here. All will be forgiven if he leads him into the end zone. Here.
Here's second and a yard. 73, 73. Back to the running game with Swift. He takes it across for the touchdown, and they've taken the lead late in the final minute of the fourth. Wow, wow. Elliott good on the extra point, and that will make this a four-point game. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. From his end zone, here comes Agnew. And running with power here. And he's probably realizing he should have stayed in the end zone as he can only muster a return to the 14-yard line. They'll come up first and ten here. They'll start on the ground, ETN. And he's going to pick up a first down here as that clock continues to run. Now the offense going to use the first of their timeouts as they get it right at the 32nd mark of this fourth quarter. Here's Lawrence. And he can't get a throw away. He's taken down. Now the Jags will use the second of their timeouts. That'll leave him with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. Here comes second down. Let's go, let's go. Lawrence. Able to hook up here with Ridley. And this is not going to be what they needed. They get a few here, but now third down as the clock runs. The Jaguars now will use the last of their timeouts. It'll be their third and final timeout, so as they talk things over, we'll step aside. Not an easy spot here. They'll be in search of 13 yards to try to pick up the first. Now throwing on third down there, but he cannot connect. So another big shot dodged there defensively. Now they're just one point completion away from salting away this victory, and I know this feeling. They're almost giddy, but they have to stay focused and locked in. They can make one big mistake and throw it all away. Fourth down. Here's Lawrence. He's going to let it fly. And this is caught on the sideline. A defeat in. They are. What a catch. They keep the game alive, at least for the moment, as it's a first down. Listen, when they're at this point of the game, options are on the table. Fourth down, they say, we've got to go for it. And what a play they come up with. Big yardage there to keep the drive alive. Back to throw, Lawrence. He's going to let this go. Back of the end zone. And this is incomplete. Oh, he had six points right in his hands, but could not hang on. Now one more shot at it. Obviously, again, they've got to go for the end zone. Well, we've seen it happen before. How about Aaron Rodgers throughout his career? He seems to pull it off about every other week. But if I'm the defense, I'm rushing the quarterback and making him move away from his throwing arm. That makes it a little bit tougher to get it downfield. And he'll be taken down here, and that is how this one is going to come to an end. Well, Charles, a pretty exhilarating finish to the end of this ball game. At the end, the Hail Mary prayers, though, they went unanswered. Could have won it, but couldn't get it done. Almost fell schoolyard or playground, didn't it? Yeah, you remember when you called that play? Everybody just go long <laughs> and try and find someone open. They gave it a shot, but unable to successfully complete it. So that's a wrap for Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gunn, and this has been a presentation of the NFL on EA Sports. For more, check us out at easports.com. From Jacksonville, good night, everybody.